Hi everybody, it's Thomas here from Thomas Fitzgerald Photography and today I have a quick tip for you on Capture One and what I want to do is show you how to do dust and spot removal. So there's a couple of different ways you can go about doing this and uh, one of the things I've seen a lot of people um, give tutorials and, and so forth on is to do it by using a healing layer. Um, but this isn't the most efficient way to do this. There's actually a dedicated dust and spot tool and if you don't know about it, um, this is the way that I suggest you use for removing dust and spots. So to give you a demonstration, I've just picked an image here. It's I just pointed the camera up at the sky and there just happened to be a plane going by at the time. But the primary reason for this shot was so that I would have a clean background so that you could see the dirty sensor. Um, and yes, I do realize my sensor is extremely dirty. This was taken with my very old D700 and I haven't cleaned it in a while because I haven't really been using it that much lately. And yes, I do realize the sensor is extremely dirty and needs to be cleaned and it's something that's on my list of things to do in the next few days okay so to give you an idea um, of what to do uh, let's start by making the dust spots more visible so if you're coming from Lightroom there's a function in Lightroom that makes the dust spots more visible um, but there's nothing directly uh, similar to this in Capture One. However, there's a very easy way to do it, and that is just to create a separate layer. So what we're going to do is, if you go to the Exposure um, tab, and then go New Fill Layer, and we're just going to use the levels to make the dust spots more visible. So if you just do something like this, and then once we're finished, we can just turn it off and delete the layer. But this is kind of just a way to make them more visible. Um, and as you can see, as I said, this is extremely dirty sensor. Um, to be fair, you wouldn't see this normally in normal use. It's only kind of if you're doing a lot of images with the sky and stuff and, and you've stopped down and you've enhanced it a bit. Um, but yeah, I, I do realize my sensor is extremely dirty. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean up all these uh, dust spots. And then once I've done that, I can actually copy and paste it to other images. So I don't have to do this for every single image. So. The dust spot tool can be found in two different places. So if you go over to the details tab, you'll find spot removal down at the bottom and you can activate the tool here. It's also up in the toolbar. You see it's this little circle that says remove spot. Okay, so click on this and this will bring you up your spot removal tool. And then you literally just click over your spots. Now, if you need to adjust the size of this, just right click on it and you can get this little slider that comes up. So as you can see, I have quite a lot of dust <laughs> on my sensor and this might take a little while, so I'm just going to speed all this up. Okay, so I think I've got most of them. Um, if at any point you need to change or move one, you can just select it and you can drag it. So you can move it around like this. Um, you can also increase the size of it just by dragging on it. And if you want to delete one, so say for example we put one, actually that is another spot, so say I have one here and I want to delete that, you uh, literally just select it and then hit the delete key. Oh, and there's another spot. Okay, so once you have that all done, I can turn off my uh, visualization layer, so there you go. And to get out of the um, spot removal mode, just click on a different tool, so I'll go back to the pan tool. Okay, so there you can see all our spots are gone and if we can do a before and after you can see before and after now that includes some other edits I did as well so once I have that done uh, if I want to copy that to another image um, what I can do is if I go down here to the spot removal panel and you want this little double arrow key so just click on that and this brings up the adjustments clipboard and we just want to copy spots because that's all I've used uh, the dust, I'm not 100% sure what the difference is. It just it uses a different algorithm and seems to be a bit more effective for larger um, or more kind of irregular um, shaped spots. So uh, I just want to copy the spots. So I just hit copy. Okay, so that copies it to the clipboard. So then I can go to another image. So again, if I zoom in here, you can see the spots up around the top there. And again, if I did another layer, so let me just do a new fill there. And we'll 
we'll do the levels on this. Again, so you can see the dust spots. So again, it's not quite as bad, but you can see some in the sky. So again, I'll just delete that layer. And to paste down, I just, on the Mac, I go Command Shift V, or you can get it from the menu. We want adjustments, apply adjustments. Uh, it just takes a second. And now you can see all our dust spots are gone. So if I switch back over to the spot tool, you can see where they all are. Now, if you're copying to another image that has more detail in it, what you might need to delete a few. So for example, here on the lighthouse, I don't need this one, so I'm just going to delete that. And I don't need that one. Delete that as well. And this one's doing a kind of a bit funky, so. Should just delete that, I don't need that either. And then switch back to the hand tool. And there you have it. Some more adjustments there. So there you have it. There is your dust spots gone. So that is very quickly how you use the spot removal tool in Capture One. Um, just one other thing, because uh, this can be a bit confusing sometimes. Um, if I bring up the adjustments clipboard again, you see there's an apply button here as well. So I used to think that you clicked on that to apply um, settings you've already copied, but it doesn't actually work like that. So the way this works is if I want to apply these settings to a bunch of images, I, I can't, well, first of all, I get out of this. So, so uh, let me see. So let me just select this one and this one. Okay, and say this one. Okay, so I have four images selected now. Let me just go back to the first image. So you want to make sure your main image is selected. So this is the one you were working on. So you'll see is that thicker white border around it. Okay, and then if I go back to my spot removal tool, and if I click on this again, so now when I click apply, it's going to apply those settings to all the images I have selected. And you don't have to hit copy first. Um, I just did that by accident. <laughs> so if I hit apply, you'll see it's applying that to all the other images, and you'll see takes a second because my computer's really slow uh, and the dust spots are gone okay so that's pretty much it that is very quickly how you use the spot removal tool in capture one um i hope you found this useful if you do please like and subscribe and uh don't forget to hit that bell button so you get notified of new updates and um, thanks for watching and uh, we'll have more videos soon see you next time